On August 4, 2007, I was responding to a structure fire at a single family residence. It was dispatched as a simple fire, just smoke showing. It didn't appear to be anything serious. Not a lot of flames, not a lot of damage. I'll spray a little bit of water and go back. And in this case, it was actually that type of fire, but it had burned so long underneath in the basement that it burned the subflooring off. It was dark because it didn't have any power on, and then I put my knee over the subflooring that had been burned through. I felt the floor give away, and my mind just kind of went, oh, this is not happening. I just fell into a room of fire. We got a fire down. I was trapped in the basement and unable to free myself. I could talk to my lieutenant. He was above me, but he was also running back and forth trying to get into the basement and locate me. They could not locate my position, and so I had to activate my PAS device, which is a device on a air pack that firefighters use that basically it's a loud alarm that when you're still for 20 to 30 seconds it'll go off or you can manually activate it and in my case my hands were pinned and I was unable to reach the manual activation I had to mentally get myself where I could lay there for 30 seconds on hot coal to activate the alarm when they were able to locate me by the sound, they used it as a beacon and were able to pinpoint my location. When my firefighters finally got to me and were able to pull me out, I remember being just relieved. I was so happy. You know, I was like, I'm, I'm going to make it. I was outside the basement and looking up and seeing my close friends and colleagues look at me with this horrific look of just like they felt sorry for me. I had third degree, fourth degree burns my whole right side is burned after my accident and my life has changed tremendously I was a very active person I had been married a couple years had a nine-month-old and a four-year-old and everything was perfect in my life and then then I was burned and I had to depend on my husband and depend on my family members and that was really hard for me to do being such an independent person that it was probably the hardest part of healing for me was to admit that I needed help. It would, took me several months to realize that I was not the same person I was before the fire. The fire had taken away my independence, it had taken my body. The cost of my injuries has been way over one million dollars. On the day of that fire, had that residence had residential sprinklers, we would not be here talking today. It would have been put out quickly, extinguished, and I would have um, been able to continue my career as a firefighter. I am Angie Roach, a former firefighter, and I am a face of fire from Georgia.